Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. So this is actually my second time filming this video. The last one turned into a half an hour long video about my home lab. So I was looking through my content manager here on YouTube, realized I hadn't done an update on my home lab since June and thought I owed you guys one. So not a whole lot has changed here. You can see that Media CMS has been added. Joplin has been added. I've moved MeTube to a separate container and actually reinstalled it from that video. I've also got some Podman tasting here and I believe web facing is new as well or newish. So basically what's going on here, I have the SDN, we use Almighty Gear here. So my SDN controller is hosted here in my home lab instead of using their box. Now, if you saw my last home lab update, one of our other properties, we actually went to using that box. That went great. So our other rental unit, we're going to be doing the same thing and we're going to be pulling down the Proxmox server in that. We have three pie holes, each for each separate VLAN, except for the VLAN where I host all of my web facing stuff. STMP server, we're using Postfix here. This was mainly so my SDN could send emails using Gmail. I've since got my SDN set up, so Gmail. So we'll be phasing this out and getting this out of here along with my Proxmox and we're gonna move them to their own separate passwords that use Gmail to send me emails for notifications. So this will be getting phased out here in the next few weeks. Media CMS, which if you watched my latest video, is a Media CMS server and it basically is hosting a bunch of videos that I want access to that I've stored and I don't want to have to rely on YouTube or somewhere else to host. I can say, I don't know if this is the total right solution for me. I love the project. I think there's some limitations, especially with GPU support. I saw one of those comments where others might as well. For me, I can throw enough CPUs at it. I can let it transcode for half a day to do a two long, hour long video. It works. My complaint is disk space. So this server here holds the same files and probably 80% more files for projects and other videos that aren't on Media CMS. And it's only 120 gigs versus the transcoded stuff that's available is 170 gigs. Really don't like the space it takes up. Really don't like the lack of compression. That is my complaint here. Home Assistant, absolutely nothing has changed here. Joplin has been added. That was moved from the Beach House server as part of that teardown. I showed you a video of setting that up and it's not starting on boot and not running because I've stopped using Joplin. I don't know what will replace Joplin. I don't know if Joplin will come back. I frankly don't like it on Windows and my Mac isn't being used as much. I also didn't like the grouping of how my phone to my computer worked in syncing everything. So I stopped using it. Web facing is an AirSonic server as well as a kind of personal Bible verse server. Um, I couldn't find an app that I liked. That's a whole nother discussion, but I am religious. Not going to bring it to this channel, not going to talk talk much more about it, but it's there and it's hosted there on a domain. So with that, we're doing that all in Docker right now. It is a rootless version of Docker. It's kind of cool, but I don't like the challenges that I faced setting it up. I think I would like to break things up on that VLAN more. I think I'd like to change security. I think I'd like a separate server for my proxy for my incoming traffic. I don't quite know how I would like it, but it's not that. And I think in setting up multiple rootless Docker instances, I just don't know if I wanna do it. 
and I'm really looking for other solutions. So my other solution is Podman. You can see here, I've started doing some testing with it. And we did some testing even inside of an LXC. I really liked how it set up inside of an LXC. It was really good. I did have to expose C groups to it. Didn't like that. Also felt it wasn't rootless at that point. Did find out my setup wasn't rootless and I'm still experimenting. Also have some security issues with LXCs. I haven't totally gone into, I think Docker or Podman in an LXC in a home lab is perfectly acceptable. I don't think web facing it's a risk I want to take, especially with things like C groups exposed from my Proxmox system to the container. So definitely working, doing some more testing here, trying to set up a rootless instance of Podman. I can tell you I'm struggling with documentation, haven't found any good tutorials, AI is just giving me confusing information. I initially tried using Debian 13, switched to Ubuntu because of that, and I'm really just struggling with that. And frankly, that's why I'm making this video instead of a video about Podman right now, is I'm not ready to make one. And it's been a while since I've made a video and I hadn't done an update. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little September update of the state of the Virtualize Everything home lab. I don't have any other pictures to show you as my home lab still kind of in a mess of electrical and we still haven't really moved in or dealt with the constraints of this new house that we purchased off DR Horton. So with that, it's kind of in my closet. It's got electrical wires running through the wall. It's not perfect. So with that, I'm going to include this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please make some suggestions how you think I can make my home lab better, projects you would like to see, things you'd like to know about. I enjoyed that interaction and that interaction helps the channel. As always, have a good night.